Wacom's been in the premium graphics stylist business for longer than almost anyone still around, and its electromagnetic resonance technology is still the best. The X2 doesn't incorporate the latest generation, which offers 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and 60 levels of tilt detection in which only Wacom's products currently use, but it does offer 4.096 levels of sensitivity and tilt detection, I don't have a tilt specification. Some of the best things about DMR is that the stylus charges through the surface, so no batteries are required, and it automatically connects on contact rather than using Bluetooth. HP claims no parallax, offset between the tip and the pixel location, and minimal latency, but I find that usability is more a function of the complexity of the brush and the application, latency is one thing but lag, as I frequently see with some complex brushes in Photoshop or Painter, is another. In any case, any Bluetooth stylus is going to have some latency from the connection. HP also chemically etched the screen to provide a better feel for both stylus and touch. There's a fine line between too slippery and too rubbery when using a stylus on tablet screens and in my brief fingers on with the X2 I did like the feel. The company also custom designed the stylus, but while it's certainly comfortable it didn't really stand out in that respect. While the prices start at $1,750, directly converted, approximately 1,330 pounds and a dollar sign 2,230, that's for a relatively underpowered configuration with a dual-core Intel Core i5 and integrated graphics, an 8-bit 4K display and so on. HP doesn't have a price yet for the maxed out configuration, which would have an 8th generation i7, the Dream Color 4K display, an NVIDIA Quadro M620 GPU, 32GB RAM and 2TB MAM, 2SSD, but if this is going to be your only system, you're going to want the power.